Hey guys, today we will be installing a water pump on this engine here. This is a Briggs & Stratton 21100 series. It's been modded a fair bit. This is for a, uh, a model boat I'm building. If you haven't seen it, check out my channel. This is the water pump we're going to be using. It's from Hobby King. It's about 10-15 bucks. Comes with a nice carbon fiber mount. Uh, I think this is like a silicone pulse pipe. And a 90 degree fitting here that goes into the pulse pipe. And uh, this will screw into the isolator block for the carb. So you get the pulse to run this. And then this is the in, this is the out. So you just hook this up to a water supply and it'll pump it out into whatever. This is pretty much all we need to take off the carb. This is a 8 millimeter socket and a torque spit. This is a T25. Okay, to start, I've already uh, taken it out of the boat, unplugged the, uh, the kill switch, taken off the uh, fuel lines. So now to uh, remove the filter, pull that cap off there, you just push this in, we'll remove that, the actual filter, then we'll grab our 8mm socket and we'll undo these two nuts. This part then just simply slides off and we'll just pull this little hose out. The carb then also just slides right off. And we'll take this gasket as well. Careful not to lose this. Then we're on to the plastic isolator or spacer or whatever you want to call it. We're going to grab our, uh, our torque spit. So again, it's a T25. And then that comes off. So, we're going to be dealing with this. A plastic isolator, spacer, part that goes between the engine block and the card. On here you can see the pulse line. It's a small little hole in the side of the actual uh, Venturi. And it comes off and what that does is that goes over here and enters through this small hole. And that's what gives the pulse to the carb so it can run properly. So basically what we're going to need to do is to take a small drill bit and drill a hole right here. Which our 90 degree fitting from the water pump can then just screw right into. Now we need to keep in mind that this 90 degree fitting has uh, the line coming off it there. So however this, needs, however this goes in, you need to at least be able to turn it so you can install it. Whatever engine you're doing this on, you're going to need to make sure that you have drilled the hole in the, an accurate place and that it's not interrupting any airflow on the inside. You also want to make sure that when you're screwing in the 90 degree fitting, it doesn't go into the Venturi like that. You want to keep it like that. So I'll probably be putting it back in, in here someplace but you could also put it on this side you could do whatever and this is something you guys are going to have to figure out as well I was just noticing that if I put it on this side I can't get to my hole to bolt this onto the engine right in the way of where the screwdriver would go so what I'm probably going to have to do is put it up here on this side of the, on the block that way it can still get access to both my holes and this is actually good thick plastic here. So I can just make a small, small hole, and then we'll tap it and we'll thread this in. So after checking and rechecking, you can see I got this hose here. And so that wherever this is, it has to clear this. Hose coming off, this has to clear that, but this is gonna work. So after doing that, we're ready to start drilling holes. So I'm going to grab my, uh, my automatic centering punch. I've located the area that I want the hole to be. I'm just going to make a, a dimple that we can drill into. Alrighty, now we can grab our drill bit. I've chosen to go with a 7 ths Basically because when we're looking at uh, the size of the fitting on the 90 degree, that's about the right size. Basically you're wanting to find a drill that is not as big as the exterior diameter of the threads but of the actual shank. 
So we'll uh, drill this little hole out now. Keep checking occasionally, make sure you haven't gone too far because you do not want to go through the other side. And there's the hole. You can see it in uh, relation to this one. So there's that, uh, this is the traditional pulse line that goes to the curb, and there's the hole for the water pump. I'm now just going to take this Dremel with a uh, cutting disc on the end, and just remove some of this excess plastic which is going to be in the way when we're, uh, we're threading in the T-piece. Alright, so I've just uh, dremeled off this edge here, and this edge here, and just tidied them up with a grinding stone. So now we have plenty of room, you can see the hole right there. We now have plenty of room to screw in the 90 degree fitting. You can see plenty of room there, and plenty of room all around it. Mounted in a vise here just for simplification of uh, working on it. Next up would be to either just take this and carefully thread it through, but the size of hole that I've used, this won't work. It'll create a lot of uh, heat, it may even crack the plastic, it may warp the threads. So the best choice is to take a tap. This is a 440 tap. And uh, we're going to just tap the hole out. Now we could use some oil for this. This is plastic, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But if I need some oil, I may just grab some. So just slowly start it. We're gonna come make sure you're following the, uh, the direction of the hole. I've made it so that this is pretty much up and down, vertically. And we're just gonna just slowly begin threading this in. Again, making sure to stay on track with the hole. Be careful doing this, and when you feel like you've got it biting, then you can uh, just continue going a little bit better. So this is something you guys will figure out as well. I was wrong. It's actually it's not this tap. It's actually this one. It's an M4 by one by 0.7, I believe. Okay, now we should, <laughs> should be able to take our 90 degree fitting. Yes. And thread it in, just like so. And there we go. It's, uh, it's in there. It's a little loose, but we can always use some Loctite. Just make sure that it's nice and sturdy. And we can angle it like that, like that, however we need to. I want to make sure that it's not really sticking into the Venturi because that'll interrupt the flow of air. But, uh, that's awesome. So there we go. And that's really all there is to it. Got the, uh, the fitting on there now. I actually got a little bit of rubber that I had, and uh, using an awl, poked a hole in it, shoved it onto the end of this, and then using a sharp knife, cut the rubber, and I just made a nice little seat so this isn't, it's not loctited in. You can still turn it, but it's not gonna vibrate loose, and it just, it works, works pretty well. I can just shove on the line, and we'll just rotate it down like that, and there you go. And there we have it. There it is guys, thanks for tuning in and watching this video, hope that you found it helpful. And now you know how to hook up the pulse fitting on your water pump, so you can pump water in and cool your exhaust, your head if you have a cooled head, whatever. Juice guys, take it easy and we'll see you in the next video.